Hey guys, Aquarius Exhibit here. Running zero wastewater on my RODI system. Now let me show you how I did it. Hey guys, this is my uh, zero wastewater RODI setup. Um, before I got my RODI setup uh, built and everything running, I found out that uh, when you run an RODI water system that you will have a massive amount of wastewater and for me that just wasn't really a great thing. I didn't want to have zero wastewater. Um, I wanted to try to find a way around it. I kind of hoped that water in goes through a filter and that it would be just clean water coming out, zero TDS and away you go. But that's not really the case. So um, yeah, let me just talk about the system a little bit here. Um, starting out from the manifold, just coming right in on a valve right there to close the system. Everything coming from uh, the pre-filters, carbon block is green, going into the membranes. And then the membranes uh, runs into the DI and from the DI, it is blue, which is all product. And then all of the yellow, you'll see some spots that are yellow that is color coded for wastewater coming around this way. This is wastewater. This is going to be waste. And the redundancies installed here are auto shutoff valve that mixes with the float. And then there'll be a high pressure switch hooked up in my product line to kill the pump when the float valve kills. So, and then some of the other things that I've installed here are a valve in here um, that's just to close the entire system off. Um, coming through in here, you've got a gauge, gauge to tell you how much pressure you're running for your entire system, whether you're running with the booster pump on or off. I run like my system without it, it runs at about it depends, but runs usually about 50 PSI. And with the booster, I run at about 90. Um, and I'll tell you why after. So some of the other things, a dual TDS meter gives me my product from the membranes. So that's my TDS in. That's it's essentially it's into the membrane or into the DI. And then out of the DI. So this is product, this is final product. You want this to always, always read zero. So I'm running uh, dual carbons and a pre-filter and dual DIs and a mixed bed. And then um, going back to the valves. So products coming in, this is water coming in, product, product, uh, auto shut off. Then I've got a valve here off a of T that will shoot the water into into the DIs or flush past it, or I can f I can uh, uh, eliminate my TDS creep from my product coming out of the membranes, and that just goes right to drain. And then I've also got coming out of the final membrane is a flush kit for flushing the membranes as well. That's a restrictor in here, and then a valve to bypass the restrictor when you want to flush. And then a valve to close this system so I can uh, have my product water coming through from the membranes and go right into the DI, DI beds right back here. And then a valve to close that off in case I want to run the um, wastewater through that instead. And then a valve so that it can't push back into the product going this way or this way. So a bunch of valves, but um, it looks confusing. It's not really that confusing once you kind of understand why they're all there. Um, and I can kind of do a close up of it as well. So coming in, just kind of showing you the root of it going through the, through the pump, through the valve or the gauge coming up in here across here, still staying on green, and then going this way through the valve into the DI beds, DI beds going back that way, 
T off to TDS meter and then product. I'll also be installing a, uh, a splitter here with valves on it. One going to my ATO um, in my tank stand. And that's pretty much it. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So, and then the moment and everybody's been waiting for is how is this zero wastewater? Now you see my my waistline is yellow leading out here. So it's actually going back up and back around, back to my manifold. And it's actually just plumbed right back into the manifold on a check valve. Check valve being so that the water flowing from in the manifold can't go back into the system and put pressure, back pressure. And I run the pump so that way that the, the pressure coming in is higher than the pressure going out so it pushes the water back into the system now one thing I actually will change and it, it it's a small change but it is meaningful to me is that I will be moving this valve down into the hot side the red is the hot side and the white is cold and the reason why is because any um, anything that I'm pulling out of the water with my my filter system, my RODI system, I don't essentially, I essentially don't want it to go back into the cold and back into the system again. So if I put it in the hot, it's much further away going through all the piping through the hot water tank um, to get all that, that stuff that I'm pulling out back into the system. So that's pretty much the gist of it pretty straightforward actually if you think about it it's really just a closed system that I'm pulling water from my manifold and then my wastewater is going back into the manifold and that way I can achieve zero wastewater I might go through a little bit more um, DI beds by doing this but it's really negligible um, having three it's super efficient so that's pretty much it uh, if you guys have any other questions uh, in the comments, it would be great. If you have any suggestions, that's great too. Um, yeah, and then to help everybody out, if they want to try to recreate this, I'm going to draw up a diagram and add it to the end of the video so you can kind of pause and have a look at how it's all set up on a diagram rather than just looking at this mess of uh, quarter-inch tubing. Um, yeah, all right. Thanks for watching, guys.